Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be unboxing a steel tongue drum and this one is pentatonic which I am super excited about. I love to use these with my preschool kids because they're so easy. <laughs> All they have to do is smack them and they will make fun sounds. Um, so to have a pentatonic one I'm just really really super excited about. <laughs> So um, I got this one on Amazon, um, and as I recall, it was about $30, but as you can see, it's a really small box. It's going to be a really small one. Um, sometimes the smaller ones don't sound quite as nice, but we'll see what it sounds like. So here we go. Cut that open. Now... Of course, this arrived in a much larger Amazon box, um, but this is the smaller inside cardboard box. And we'll see what all is in here. Okay, here we go. It came in its own nice little carrying case. Um, so far, of all the steel tongue drums I've gotten, they all come with this nice little bag, which I really love. It's wonderful to be able to carry it back and forth from school uh, without worrying too much about what's going to happen to it. <laughs> oh. And this is kind of stuck in the bottom of the box. Um, this is all of the accessories. Let's see, we've got here the mallets, and I'm not sure if these are rubber tipped, um, or if it's a synthetic rubber, I don't know, but um, it definitely feels like rubber. It's a very bouncy material um, that doesn't hurt other things when you smack them, <laughs> which is a big part of why I like them for my preschoolers. <laughs> and let's see. Um, it comes with a steel tongue drum music book. Um, a lot of these, I mean, they're not songs that normally, like, American or English-speaking people would know. I think there are a lot of maybe Chinese folk songs. I'm not sure. <laughs> but they're ones that are very unfamiliar to me, and I know quite a few of them. Um... So, I mean, that could be really fun if you want something new to try, but also don't expect to have things you'll be totally familiar with. And... Oh, this one comes with stickers in the package. So these are what you're going to stick to um, the tongues on the steel so you know which note you're playing. I like to have those. I don't use these very often, and so I don't have it memorized. <laughs> and then you've got these funny little things. These are made of that same maybe rubber material, and you can put them on your fingers so that you can play with just your hands, um, which is kind of fun to do. I haven't had much luck with the kids doing it, but I enjoy it. <laughs> All right, so here is the tongue drum itself. Oh wow, I really like this color. <laughs> it's kind of a neat texture too, it's very layered. Um, and it does look like it already has the numbers of the scale on there, which is really helpful. I guess the sticker sheet is just extras. Um, and yeah, it looks like it is pentatonic, which I'm so excited about. I ordered one before that was supposed to be pentatonic, <laughs> but when it arrived, turned out to not be. <laughs> which I was a little disappointed by. Um, but this one definitely seems to be. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you a little bit just so you can sort of get an idea of how these sound. And I like to kind of hold it in the palm of my hand, almost like a singing bowl. Um, and then you get more vibrations. And 
this one is a lot clearer than others I've played that are this small, which I like. Um, I feel like maybe it's not quite as in tune as it could be. Yeah, those are supposed to be an octave apart, and that is not sounding like an octave. Um, but there are some things you can do to tune them. Um, you can see how the light is shining through these, and you can file them down a little bit further, um, which will make the tone lower and hopefully tune it up a little bit. But of course you want to be careful because you cannot add material. <laughs> This is the pentatonic hand drum, and I believe this one is eight inches across. They also had a six inch version, but I like the tone of the bigger ones better. So here you are. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and um, I hope to see you again next time.